What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. Uh, for breakfast yesterday, I didn't have anything. For lunch yesterday, I had quinoa salad, and uh, there were chicken burgers at school, but I didn't have those. And uh, for dinner, we ended up having chili. For breakfast this morning, I had leftover chili. Uh, for lunch, um, it's kind of like brunch, uh, that leftover chili. Um, and for dinner, um, I might be having a sandwich at work, or I might be eating dinner at home, we'll see. Um, I'm really happy about my new hoodie. Uh, yesterday was my first day wearing it, and you know, uh, something I was irritated about is that on Thursday, I had actually, um, even though I had practiced after school, I still brought my trumpet home, and I sort of had a vision of me wearing the hoodie for the first time on my way to school. Excuse me, on my way to school, and I'd be having my hands in my pockets, I wouldn't be having to carry my trumpet, right? Um, and that's what the plan was, but sadly, I had brought my trumpet home on Thursday, so I had to walk to school holding my trumpet and with only one hand in the hoodie pocket. But even then, um, it was still very nice, and uh, it was nice, like, being surrounded by 100% cotton quality garment the whole day, it was just a really great feeling. Uh, you know, then I worked from four to six and um, I didn't eat there because of the chili we were having that day. And, you know, I was really happy with it. Um, another thing that happened yesterday while I was wearing this hoodie is that I was um, from fifth to, so during lunch, uh, I was hanging out with my buddies and I heard that a very good friend of mine was gonna be going to um, this, this play happening during fifth and sixth period. And I was like, really? He was, like, he was like, yeah. And so I uh, was like, yeah, so he was like, yeah, you just have to sign this permission slip. And my friend had a permission slip, right? Not the, an, an, like a friend, a friend of mine had a permission slip, right? So he handed it to me. I was like, oh, okay. So I went to my fifth period. Uh, she signed it. I went to my sixth period. She signed it. Um, and so then after fourth period, uh, during fifth and sixth, uh, we went to the auditorium and we watched a play and it was She Kills Monsters and it was it was very good. Um, I think it was, I, I, I don't think a lot of people uh, loved it. Uh, I didn't necessarily love it either. I think it's very uh, sort of kitsch and very um, silly uh, and very, um, very like written by a millennial type sort of. Um, but you know, it was like entertaining and it was like, I, I, I thought it was funny in like a very silly way. I didn't mind it. It was a good, it was a good movie. Movie? Film. Film? Play. It was a play. It was a good play. Uh, yeah, so I watched it with a uh, very good friend. Uh, my other friend had made all of the, all of the music for it, which is so insane. I, I can't imagine how, how that could even be possible. It's, it's incredible. Um, and yeah, so then I worked and, and things were good. Uh, today nothing's really gone on so far. It's 11.14 a.m. right now. I've had my coffee, I ate some leftover chili. Um, and, you know, I, was, I used to just be wearing this flannel with just nothing on, but, you know, my hair has dried enough for me to actually put something on that would touch my hair, because this is a button-up, and whenever I'm out of the shower, I wear nothing else except for this button-up, like, sort of coat, so then I could just put it on, and it's sort of like a robe, um, and the reason why is because it doesn't have to touch my hair, and my hair doesn't have to touch anything as it's drying, but it's dry enough for me to put something on, and the thing I decided to put on today was my, was my, my Yeezy Gap, uh, pullover hoodie that I just got on... Thursday and more on Friday and I'm now wearing today. Um, you know, I feel like I should talk a little more than I did yesterday um, about my ethics and morals around owning a garment made by such a bad person. Uh, let me just say, I, I, I can't really think very cohesively about this, but I can give some points that I think, um, I think are rather interesting. At school, uh, there are a lot of people who wear Yeezy products um, in general. Uh, and I think that the general sort of normie sort of vibe, terminally offline, on Kanye is like, oh, like, what he's, like, I feel like a lot of people are separating the art from the artist, and that's sort of what I'm doing, you know? Uh, thing number two is that, you know, I got, uh, this hoodie resale, so I'm not really giving him any money directly, which I definitely don't want to do. Um, like, if he was doing that $20 yay 24, like, Balenciaga merch that he was doing, uh, I definitely wouldn't be one of those people in the crowd, like, going to buy those $20 Yay 24 clothes, because I, you know, I'd hate to support such, such evil ideology, you know? Um, so yeah, so I got a resale, and, you know, I don't know, I'm just, I'm really into high quality, nice garments, like, these jeans, you know, these jeans are really nice, they're great jeans, uh, and the reason why I got them is because I just appreciate, like, well-made, high quality objects, and, you know, I really like jeans, so I got the best jean that you can buy, and I really like hoodies, so I got the best hoodie you could buy. And this is the best hoodie you could buy that's not made on a loop wheel loom, and it's like $300 exclusively because of labor, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's a very nice, it's a very nice hoodie, 
probably the best hoodie I could have gotten. That wasn't some Balenciaga hoodie that was like $300, right? Um, and it wasn't like the most expensive thing in the universe. Like I've spent more money on things, not clothes, but I've spent more money on, on things. Um, and it's just very nice. It's just like, like a good, like, like a good garment, you know, like, like it's good. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody has a good day and yeah, nothing else has really been going on. All right, see you, dude.